Hi, so I am Samya Deep Mukherjee. I'm a final year at IIT Kharagpur. Uh, I've been working with computer vision since five years, almost, and uh, I have worked with at Max Planck Institute on computer vision and even at Nanyang Singapore with computer vision. So uh, yeah, the idea of this finding out how fresh fruits are with vision was pitched to me by Mohit a month back, and since then this idea really interested me a lot, and I started researching on how to do this. And so, what I found out is even from my past experience that hyperspectral imaging, which uh, is probably the easiest and the most uh, like uh, deployable way to go. So, like, like I can explain hyperspectral imaging a bit. So, hyperspectral imaging is like when you take a normal image with a camera, like your phone or any camera right now. So, there are, it it records wavelengths in uh, three wavelengths and the uh, intensity for three wavelengths. That is red, green and blue so which are just three and mixing all of them and uh, taking parts of all of these uh, we get the all colors and all images right now however hyperspectral images increases this three which is three channels as we call it in image processing uh, to any number like it we can have probably there are cameras which can have thousand wavelengths and there are cameras which can have 10 to the power of five wavelengths also and then capture the intensity for all wavelengths now, more the number of wavelengths, more expensive the camera, more difficult, more the data, more accurate the results. However, obviously, for our case, we might not be able to have 1000 wavelengths or 10,000, 10 to the power 5 is obviously impossible. So the idea is, would be to put filters on the phone. Uh, I mean, this is what I suggest, that we can put filters here, which filters out certain wavelengths and gives you a lot of wavelengths. And we can change the color of the filter. A filter on the camera flash by the way we can change the color of the filter uh, to as many wavelengths as we can find and then get the data and do a, a classification problem or a principal component analysis whichever works best to get uh, see the results and from what I've googled online and read multiple papers so like this is this is one of the images where which can show that this is a monochromatic image which is just grayscale which is only one one uh, instead of three channels it is just one channel imagine we can have thousand channels and the power five channels this is just one channel this is my original three channel and this is after some uh, processing using uh, multiple uh, this is actually superimposing multiple uh, hyperspectral wavelengths together so this so like this is how uh, we can get like if we put multiple wavelengths together, we can find out such things, such, uh, I don't know, like holes or such uh, impurities in a, in a fruit or how old or how fresh it is. Like, yeah, it is still a very, the idea is in a naive stage, obviously, but uh, like at least the science behind it and the tech behind it is proven. So it needs to be deployed as soon as possible and should be deployed for use for everyone. So, so many, just for clarity, you talked about putting filters and a lot of wavelengths, right? Yeah. So we will obviously not go for a hundred wavelengths or a thousand yeah, wavelengths. Yeah, obviously. But like, what would be a good number? Like say five, ten or... I mean, the best way is to test and uh, yeah. do but, uh, uh, like, but then I guess like, uh, I mean, come on, from what I know, you we can get cellophane papers of like 40 colors. 50 colors right Let's try all of them so yeah we can have filters which are basically simple cellophane papers yeah. which are easily available yeah. right so it's a very simple problem that way and anybody with a flash camera can yeah. deploy it right if it should be easily yeah. available great thanks a lot Samadhi, for your input thank you